do jobs typically care that much about ABET accreditation when hiring? They go on to say, I'm currently doing a major in aerospace engineering that is still a pretty new major for our school and likely won't be ABET accredited for another six or so years. Is that going to be much of a problem once I start job searching after college? So I would say yes. I would say that the one question that my company that hired me asked was, now they, my, they knew that my degree name was kind of funky. It wasn't mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, uh, chemical engineering, but they did ask, is your degree a bit accredited? That was like a straight hardline requirement for me to get my job. So uh, again, I work for an established engineering EPC contractor. So they're a little bit more rigid, not as rigid as companies can go, but definitely on the rigid, more rigid side compared to like your traditional mom and pop shop. But they, they definitely did care. And um, I would say that... Uh, Graduating from university without a bad accreditation is, is just kind of setting yourself behind other people when you don't necessarily really need to do that. Unless you like really, really think that the program is preparing you well. Um, yeah, I mean, you could like your, your campus environment, you could like your friends, you could like everything else. But remember that college is, to an extent, an investment and in, in yourself. And, and why put yourself further behind other people? Why make it more difficult for you to become licensed as a professional engineer if that's something you want to pursue? Um, become an engineer in training. Why why set yourself behind in that way whenever there are plenty of other aerospace, I think this versus aerospace engineering programs out there that are a bit accredited? And then I've done some, a little bit, just like a light bit of research in it. I don't think it takes six years to get accredited. Um, if the university is investing properly in the program. So that's another red flag for me. Um, I think that it takes less time than that. But I'm not an expert on ABET accreditation, so maybe somebody can write in and tell me I'm wrong. But I would say go with an ABET accredited program, either at that university or uh, transfer and do uh, an ABET accredited program somewhere else um, because that's just... That's a major red flag to me. Um, and if I were a hiring manager, hiring an entry level person, that would be a really big red flag. So I just made the pilot, then they threw me on the stations. I'm not complaining, now I'm not complaining. My thoughts get complicated, I cannot explain in lameness. Never losing focus because I ain't chasing payments. Still playing in the basin while I'm working on arrangements. They heard the kid in 50 countries, thank God that's amazing. But I'd rather thank Spotify, they put me on the stations.